Hi everybody, Big Fay Plus here. Let me just switch and fix that real quick. And welcome back to the Big Man Plays Planescape Torment. And I have been forgetting to say this for the past several videos. Requested by Bormac. And dumb. Uh, yeah, I've been forgetting to say that a lot. And also, when last left off, we cleaned out the trash warrens of uh, trash and assholes. And now we're going to... Move. Stupid freak! I got too much... I got bills on my key. I got bills on my desk, and they're in the way of my keyboard. There we go. We're gonna go in here, and we have got a shite ton of freaking cranium rats, which we're going to deal with one at a time, separately. They throw Meyer spells at you, and that's lovely. Okay, um... Okay. It appears he's uh, got some kind of affliction here. So the only warrior right now is, um... There, now we just need to... Yeah, you need to, um... I'll go ahead and use that. Okay, that was um. All right. Now, did they drop anything? All right. Well, cranium rat tails. Cranium rat tails. I'm gone. Okay, there was like eight cranium rats there, and I only got two tails. <sighs> That was it. Are you shite me? That's it. Okay. That that's that's better. Silver frame. I don't know what that is. Prickly club. That sounds nice. Claw charm. Claw charm. Magic scroll of magic mist. Um. I think I may have been sickened here, though I do think I may have avoided it because of my saving throws there and my, um, thieving skills I have leveled up. But, um, yes, uh, let's go ahead and look at the items I just picked up here. That can't freaking use. Let's see, obsidian earring. Oh, wait, I already had that in mind. Uh, scroll magic missile, which we will copy immediately. Season wearing spell, of course. Prickly Club! Only usable by thieves. Why well, can I identify it? By spell, because I was smart enough to do that, which is the Club of Metals! Oh, okay. Only usable a club usable by thieves. Okay, I'll have to remember this, because I like clubs. I like kind of blunt implements. Prickly Plant. Stuns or poisons them. And I also got a lot of money there, so that's always good. And of course, we will now head back through because there's no I'm reason gone. to stay. Because, yes, and I'm going to say, well, the screen keeps jerking around me. Also, I keep forgetting to mention this in the thing. <sighs> because I am a dumb dumb and I'm also supposed to head southeast here. Um, you can actually get this game on GOG or GOG.com there. That's where uh, Bormac got it from and sent it to me and um... Done. Yeah. Oh, this is all the knives I left over here. I think so. Yeah, it's all the crap knives I Done. left because... What's this? Oh, no crap. Okay, I killed everyone here. I'm gone. Um... South... East. Over 
here, maybe? We shall see. Lots of wandering around aimlessly because of reasons. Maybe this way? Aha, right. yes. Maybe this way? Okay, maybe it looks to be possibly something new. Aha, yes. I'm gonna save in the event that I screw up because I need to get through there. And yes, I really would like the large chunk of experience. As you're in a room, a large heavy set man gets uh, up from his chair and approaches you. Lo, lad! Name's Bish! Who might she be? Um. I have no name. What you mean you don't have a name? You just come back from stick swimming, you clueless sod? You know, Bish surely moving his hand towards his weapon. Are oh, you just not telling me? Hiding something, he thinks. Hmm. Okay, I just need. I was told I could locate Farad around these parts. Bish eyes you suspiciously. Farad usually fills me in on visitors, and I don't recall the likes of you being mentioned. Quickly glances you over before giving an apathetic shrug. Eh, you don't look like anything the gods couldn't handle. On with you! Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, I've already done all this, because I've already finished the rest of the place here. Why do I have to head back? <sighs> it's like, oh, don't head down there just yet. I'm gone. I love how this, how this walkthrough does this. Okay, and we're back here. And, um... I just uh, sold all my rat tails to the windbag. <sighs> hey, please don't kill me! Phineas shrinks and jumps startled. He looks at you as if he expected someone else. Thank the powers, it's only you! Pauses and tries to compose himself. It, it, don't, don't kill you. Are you in some sort of trouble? Souls hard and looks about. The cranium rats... It, seem, it seems they are determined to rid Sigil of my presence. I have performed my duties at the office of Vermin Z's control too diligently. Looks at you pleadingly. If what are you talking about? Earlier today I found a large specimen of rat here at my very office. I captured the creature and took it downstairs in the basement to deal with it. His eyes grow wide and his breathing becomes labored. Before my very eyes it grew into a huge man-sized creature and said it was sent to kill me for my crimes against the cranium rats. It, what did you do? I run for my very life! Praise the powers I made it back up here to my shop! I locked the door behind me. I'm certain the creature is trapped down here. Search you, and his eyes begin to move along your many scars. He meets your gaze again. Look at me like that, motherfucker. Say the creature for me! I'll make it worth your while! <sighs> Will you give me if I do? Thanks for a moment and smiles. I'll pay you 200 copper comments to rid my basement of the vile beast! Oh? Um... Well, well, um, all right, I think I will do it. He smiles and gives you a slight bow. Excellent! Here's the key to my basement. Take care of the basement and I shall pay you. Updated my journal. Well, of course, we're going to have to, um, deal with this beast. This beastly beast of... Damn safe button, damn it. This beastly beast of beastly burden. Also, I got a steel, silver frame. Okay, um... I can't identify yet. Okay. Done. Let's go down here and... Oh, it's, um... Well, aren't you big? Okay, well, let's see here. Do I have any... 
spells available? No. Okay, I guess I will just stab it. Done. Good as done. I'm gonna do that and. Since I'm no longer a mage, I can't do it, so... But he can. Your path is your will be done. I shall serve. Well, the bash was successful, and now we got Charm of Infinite Recall. Ooh. Junk. Bandages. And Needle and Thread. What is this Charm of Infinite Recall? That's the mage... Some mates just go to me to condense. Store knowledge and new charm forms. Okay. Okay, fortune is fed charm fleet and reasons render unintelligible for a short period of time. Storm can only be used to identify unknown items. It can only be used on the quick item menu on the world screen. If charm is used, the user must enter their inventory screen and right click examine each item they want to identify. Charm will only allow the user to identify items that are in his possession. Items in other kids' possession. Oh, okay. Okay, so I have to... Well, that will help, because I want to identify... something. <laughs> That's if I will, okay, the silver frame I need to identify, so we will... I think I'll save it, actually. Because you never know. <laughs> you never know. You might actually uh, need that, so... I'm just rapid-fire a bunch of identifiable things. <sighs> All right, Phineas. You see, Phineas, he looks you at you over the rim of his spectacles. Once again, you grace me with your presence. You have completed the task I set before you. Yes, the creature is dead, and I've come for my reward. Face smiles to you. This is excellent. This is indeed. What's the reward I promise you? Two hundred copper comets. Thank you for your service. I'm in debt to you. Um, me bows to you and farewell. Go. I feel stronger. Yeah, I leveled up. I should level up my mage spells, of course. Which will also give me the ability to... Let's see. Keep identify, identify is helpful. Um, what's this? Hmm, what's this? Ma oh! Hell yes. <laughs> Alright. We've done that. That. Now let's go back to that one. Now, well, first I'm going to go find that other house that I need to find, get some rest, and go back and get that uh, frame identified by uh, the lady. And then I'll head back to Bishy. Identified to the sadistic frame. When used as an item, the attacker feels the same pain and hurt that is inflicted upon user. Basically, it's, basically, it's like whenever I'm hurt, they get hurt too. We're definitely gonna put this on you because yes. What's this? Get two chip. Yeah, we'll just do this. I think I'll put that on you because well, couldn't hurt. Also could have sold them, but <sighs> oh well. Not like I, I should have, but what if I run into a shop? So... Hmm. 
Yes. Yes. So we now get to go to Done. Shut up, watch. Just get just get in there, thank you. And we are now in the buried village. And what are we gonna find in the buried village? Find out next time on the Big Man Plays! Planescape Torment requested by Bormac. So then it's Big Fatty Plus, Cyanar, and... <sighs> I have a feeling that since I went ahead and been killing tons of Cranium Rats for Phineas, I have a feeling the Cranium Rats are gonna start coming after me. I like this. There's nothing I can handle, it's just weird that a rat thinks it actually needs to kill me. Also, Buried Villager, this place just sounds like it's something from Fatal Frame.